Hi, I'm Jeff Dial. Welcome to a bonus edition of Footprints in American History. Now, the reason I call this a bonus story is because it took place outside the United States and the people we're going to discuss are not American. However, sometimes you find a story, you have to tell it. You have to. And this is one of those stories. Now, our story begins in 1943 in a concentration camp in Austria. Now, we had a man named Luigi Peduto. He was an Italian prisoner of war. He had been captured by the Germans. He was sent to Austria as a POW. While he was at this concentration camp, he had been helping some women here and there. And during that time, he took special notice of this one girl. She was beautiful to him. He was just enamored with her. He found her absolutely beautiful. He came to find out that she also had a young daughter. So being a single mother, he had a special interest in her and he definitely wanted to get to know her. Now, she was from the Ukraine. So she spoke Ukrainian, he spoke Italian. They really struggled to get to know each other. There was such a language barrier, but it didn't matter. He was in love with her and she was falling in love with him. He would sew her hats and do things to impress her. She would bring him food in return. Their love grew and it was over two years in this concentration camp. Finally, the Russians arrived and liberated the camp. So after the Soviets had liberated the camp, he wanted to go live with her in Austria. Unfortunately, the Soviet government said no. Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union and they had rules and they said no. She was not allowed to come to Italy to live with him, so they were forced to separate. Over 60 years had passed. Luigi had never forgotten her. Now, her name was Makrina Yurzik. She had never forgotten him. However, over the course of time, both had married, both had had children, both even had grandchildren. However, you know how things go with spouses, one dies, and they both found themselves single again. Now, because of the separation of time, Luigi had learned about a TV show called Wait For Me that would put you in touch with people you had lost contact with. He thought about Macarena. He had a medallion with a strand of her hair. He had a picture. One account even said he had one of her shirts. He remembered her. So he knew a lady that spoke Ukrainian. She was a Ukrainian citizen. And he contacted her and asked her to help him write a letter to the station, to the show, to tell him, tell them his story. They agreed. Now it took three months for them to respond, but they found her. And on his birthday, three months later, October 11th was his birthday, they contacted him to let him know they had found her. And he was thrilled. And they saw each other again, and it had been over six decades. And they fell in love once again. When he saw her in the studio for this show, he was so excited and he just embraced her. And he kept telling her, I'm your Luigi, I'm your Luigi. She was a little more reserved, but that was her personality. He was more of an outgoing, she was more of a down to earth and very humble person. So as time went, the station would follow them and he would visit her in Ukraine and he would get in the way when she would garden, by the way and she would come to Italy, his little village. He was a financier by that time, and she would come to visit him and he would make her pasta. And it really looked like they were going to finally realize their dream. This true love had just grown and grown and grown. So finally, Luigi got the courage and he asked her the question, would you marry me? And she said, no. We're over 90. Now, I want you to take a look real quick. Here's the photograph that was taken of their reunion at the TV station in 2004. As it would have it, this story had captured the hearts of millions of people. Wait For Me had followed them with a story and so many people followed along with the story of Luigi and Macarena. 
Let's go to Kiev now. Now, Makarina was from a little village in, the, in central Ukraine. However, let's go to Kiev. And these, this is a city that had been under Soviet domination for so long. They wanted to put the past behind them. And they learned about the story and they had followed the story. So there's a bridge, a pedestrian bridge. They call it Lover's Bridge. And it's just like Paris. They have locks that people can proclaim their love to each other. And it's on this bridge. So they decided to erect a statue of their embrace. And you remember the picture I just showed you? That was the picture that the sculpture was made into. And Luigi did get to visit it. Unfortunately, Macarena was too weak to be able to visit. However, Luigi did live to see the statue. And in 2013, he passed away. Macarena lived another two years to 2015. However, this story still enamors people who come to Kiev to see this. People in Kiev did this statue because they wanted not to see another military statue, but to see something that reminded them, that gave them hope. And this statue titled Eternal Love is exactly the spirit of what the Ukrainian people wanted to be remembered for. My name's Jeff Dial. I hope you enjoyed this bonus edition of Footprints in American History. Stay tuned for the credits. Have a great day. By the way, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, share it and also ring that bell. That will give you notifications of future videos. In the meantime, have a wonderful day, fair winds and following season.